Welcome. Uh, we've got another video coming at you from Philly Young Mido, Temple Hapkido. Um, today we're going to be working on striking techniques. Um, most of this is going to be, once you think, kind of shadow boxing stuff. Um, so we're not going to, we're going to have very, um, you know, kind of boxing, kickboxing oriented strikes. Uh, we're going to work a little bit on technique, but focus on just getting in a good workout. Um, so what you'll need today are some uh, light weights. Um, you might want some medium weights uh, for some of like the burpees and things like that. Um, as we're doing the handwork stuff, since we're going to be holding it, uh, holding these weights for a bit, don't be afraid to go for something super lightweight. Um, even like one or two pounds, if you're not used to doing a lot of weighted punching, you know, after about 10, 15 minutes of this, uh, which is, you know, we've got about 25 minutes of it worked in, you know, 10, 15 minutes of it, you're going to be tiring yourself out, killing yourself. So, you know what? We're all here to just have fun, get in a good workout, so don't kill yourself. If you want to just go with one pounders, uh, someone was saying they just had to go to the bank to pick up quarters for laundry, and that was a pain in the butt. Use your rolls of quarters instead of your three or four pound weights. Um, it's all good. Um, so, let's see. Um, anything else that I want to add? Um, I don't know. We're just here to have a good workout, get through it. Um, I know that here in Pennsylvania, our stay-at-home uh, orders were extended uh, for where we are until June 6th, so a full another month until we can start getting back together and working out, um, depending on your area, maybe a little bit better. Uh, but, you know, this is all risk. So uh, we'll just keep going on this. Um, yeah, all right. So here's what we're going to start to for today. Um, instead of starting with our usual jumping jacks and working straight into that stuff, um, a lot of us have been carrying the stress of this self-quarantine on our shoulders and backs. Uh, whether it is not seeing people stuck too long, seeing the same people, your kids have AP tests coming up and, you know, they're stressed out, so you're stressed out, whatever it is. Uh, let's just go ahead and start first. Uh, uh, let's get on to uh, hands and knees, four, all fours. Um, we're going to do some cow and cat exercises. We're just going to start warming up our backs. So you're going to arch like a cat. And then bow like a cow, trying to warm that back up just a little bit. I like to get on my tippy toes here because my toes also need a little bit more of a stretch than I've been giving them. If that's painful, then just go ahead and go tops of the feet. But I'm doing tippy toes for a reason. All right, and now start doing a little bit of side to side. Okay, I'm going to kind of stick the, 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 the bottom of my ribs out to the side, squeezing on the other side. This gives me a little bit of a stretch down near the hips and lower back. Breathe. Go back to your cow and cats. Good. And let's go ahead and find yourself up to a stand. Um, let's start with necks. Circles around. Remember to breathe. And I wouldn't just let it hang. I'd like to squeeze just a little bit. So I'm warming up muscles around my neck, strengthening them. Switching directions. Good, and now shoulders, just the shoulders. Big circles. Getting as concave and convex as you can. Opening, closing, squeezing forward, squeezing back. Switching directions. Good. All right, some easy chain breakers. Getting some good angles. Again, opening, squeezing, making this active. 
So it's not always going to go fast on that retraction because you're trying to engage the muscles and squeeze into the stretch. Good. Catch that right arm across your chest. And release and left arm. Catch across your chest. And easy back twist. Again, not fast. I'm going very gentle, not because I'm trying to be lazy, but because I'm trying to engage muscles and help them help the back warm up with the twist. So half the muscles are squeezing and half the muscles are trying to relax and be spread. Good, down to the hips. Good. All right. Let's go ahead into our more active section of the warm up. We'll start off with jumping jacks. Uh, we're going to do roughly 50. Um, so make sure you've got some space around you. You're not going to kick into something, knock it with your hands. And ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 6, 7, 8, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. All right, now we're going to do a quick circuit of crunches and push-ups. As usual, do whichever ones you want. I'm going to start off with simple, easy crunches. Legs up. Um, I like to do this hang, engage the toes, and we're going to do 20. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, on your front, push-ups of your choice. I'm going to do 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and good. on your backs again. Uh, I'm going to do leg raises. I love my leg raises. So, hands underneath my bum, starting the legs up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Back to your fronts. Another 10 push ups. I'm going to go wide on this set. And I'm ready. Up. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Back on your stomach, on your back. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do my leg raises, but with a twist. So the idea is that I'm coming down, and then down on the other side. All right. Um, I need to do it a little bit more in place. You can do a little bit more twist. Get a little bit of size. So, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Oof. Good, all right, push-ups. I'm gonna go narrow again this time. I'm gonna go slightly narrower than I like to do usually. And up, hold. Oh, good, all right, ready, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good. All right. Next, uh, lunges and bridges. All right. So, um, if you want to grab a lighter medium weight, this is a good time for it. We're going to do easy lunges, uh, fixed lunges. We're just going to lower down and come back up. All right. Now, remember that if you go a little bit forward, you're going to put all the pressure on the front leg. You go a little bit back, you're going to put all the pressure on the back leg. So you've got to find that magic distance somewhere in that six inches. All right. We're going to do 10 each side, and we're going to do some bridges to alternate in. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, weights down on your backs. We're going to do bridges. All right, so the idea is feet are close enough in. I'm going to bridge a bit and then continue to turn, going to one side like I'm pushing someone off of me. This way I can engage mostly hamstrings, glutes, and lower back, okay? So, ready, we're gonna, I'm going to alternate right, left, right, left. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19, last one, 20. Uh, All right, back up with weights, more lunges. All right, left foot forward, right foot back, easy, static lunge. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Uh, On your backs. Bridges. One more time. Ready. Going left and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24, 19, 20, Good. All right. Up 
to a stand. And we're gonna do our stretch kicks. So, left foot forward, right foot back. Um, you've got a little bit of width to your stance. Remember the idea on this is a gentle stretch on the rear leg, doing the stretch, stepping forward. Good posture, rotate on the support legs, breathe. All right, ready, one. Two, three, four, five, switch. Right foot forward, left leg is doing the stretch kick. <clears throat> now, one, two, three, four, five, and switch. Right leg doing out to in, stepping across. Again, good posture, rotate on that support leg. Ready, one. Two, three, four, five, Hussa. switch, left leg, out to in, one, two, three, four, five, Switch. Right leg into outstretch kick. Remember, it's going to come in close, come across, open up, step down and through. As you're doing the kick, once you're opening up, ready. One, yes. two, three, four, five. Switch, left leg, in down stretch kick. One, yes. two, yes. three, four, last one, five. Yes. Good, all right. Pull out your hips for a second. Both directions. Working down to the knees, starting shallow, working way slowly, deeper and deeper, switching directions as you go. Good, all right, right foot up, circles, five each side, each direction, clockwise and counterclockwise. Good, both feet. Good, all right, go ahead, grab yourself a quick drink of water. And then I'll start talking about our technique training for today. Uh, um, so I'm gonna start with a light set of weights. I'm gonna start off with three pounders, see how it goes. Maybe I'll go up to fives, maybe I'll stay at threes, maybe I'll go down to ones. Doesn't matter, get through it. So grab your uh, light weights. What we're gonna start off with is working on hand work, and we're gonna be doing jab cross combinations, okay? We're gonna start in place. I want you starting in place, so you're thinking about good motion. We're going to reach out, reach out, keeping the hands up, turning over through the course of the punch. The shoulder's gonna come forward as we punch. And while I say shoulder's coming forward, I don't want the other shoulder to come back. I don't want us to open up the chest into it. What I want you to do is push the sh shoulder forward. So my other shoulder isn't gonna move too much. Second thing is, we're thinking about our legs. They're driving us into these techniques. We're using the hips and using the legs. So we're gonna start static in place. Left foot forward, right foot back. For all you right-handed people to go first. Keep the hands up. And if you're like me and your screen is lower down, 
Let's not get in the habit of punching down at the screen. Let's try to keep a good posture and punch at our own head level. All right, so hands up, left foot forward, right foot back. I'm just gonna call out a count and you're gonna do jab cross, all right? Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch, right foot forward, left foot back for all you southpaws. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Let's go to left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna do another set on each side. Uh, sorry, first, are there any questions? Done one set, any questions? All right, make sure you're keeping the hands up, straight line coming out as best as you can going towards the target. All right, left foot forward, right foot back, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides, right foot forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right. Put down your weights for a second. Shake out your arms. Um, one other thing to talk about, um, when we're in class and we're working with a partner, we're doing like the focus mitt, it makes sense to cross, right? Now we don't have, we're trying to just, we're trying to break that habit. You've got a person right in front of you. Maybe it's me on the video screen, maybe it's yourself. Punch straight down the line, try not to punch across stuff for this, okay? All right, next, we're gonna add in a step, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, got our hands up, left foot forward, right foot back, left hand doing the jab first. We're going to reach, come in, cross. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back, we're gonna do a retreating jab. I'm gonna move right foot first, throw up that jab, create a little bit of distance off that person chasing me down, get that right foot back underneath me, and cross. So it's gonna look like close, cross, retreat, cross, close, cross, retreat, cross. All right, questions? None, okay, all right, let's go ahead and do it. So, ready, uh, close, cross, retreat, cross, two, close, cross, retreat, close, cross, close, cross, retreat, 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 cross. And let's go ahead and switch sides. Right foot forward, left foot back. It's really hard for me to count, so I have no idea how many I'm doing because I'm trying to do it all together. I hope you don't mind. All right. Right hand is going to shoot out on the jab as we're closing, getting that left foot underneath us. Left hand cross, come back, throw out that right hand as we're stepping back, get that left foot back underneath me, left hand cross. Ready, close, cross. Retreat, cross, close, cross, repeat, cross, close, cross, retreat, cross, close, cross, retreat, cross, close, cross, repeat, cross, close, cross, retreat, cross, close, cross, retreat, close, close, cross, retreat, cross, close, cross, repeat, cross. Good. We're gonna go one two, three, four, all right? So left foot forward, right foot back. I'm gonna switch orientation. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, 
Good. And switch. Right hand jabbing first, left hand cross. Ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right. Um, for, uh, squats. We're going to do squats. So I'm going to go from my light weight up to my medium weight. Easy squats. We're just trying to get those legs warmed up, move a little bit of motion. So pretend like you're sitting down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And from here, you know, let's add in calf raises. Ten quick calf raises. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Switch back to your light or medium weight. Um, I'm throwing in the squat. Reduction for yep. the uh, uh, lowering. If you pin yourself, you can watch yourself in the video and give yourself feedback on whether your hands are up. Um, whether you're dropping them, whether you're turning them over too soon. I've been doing that and I've been seeing some oopsies on my part, so. I've yeah, been good point. I mean, I'm watching myself in the video, so you'll see me kind of shifting as I do stuff, as I'm paying attention, oh, my hand is dropping. Oh, I'm crossing instead of going straight, you know, things like that. So it's a good idea. Um, it means a little bit extra time. You're gonna have to rush kind of back and forth to see me, see you. But hey, good idea. Ping yourself for a little bit, see what you're doing. Um, I just want to mention that I'm doing the squats and the calf raises. Um, your arms, shoulders are already going to be tired trying to hold these weights up. And that's going to remind you when your hands are dropping, you're like, oh, this is too easy. Oh, yeah, got to get back up here where it hurts a little bit. Um, same thing on the legs. We're trying to think about using our legs. I want to tire them out a little bit more so that you can feel when you're engaging the calf, feel when you're engaging the quads, but hopefully not with killing yourself. Okay? So, next. We're gonna to add to this. So we just did jab, cross, right? And then we retreated, jab, cross. So we're gonna throw in an extra strike. We're gonna close, jab, cross. Now we're gonna throw in our hook, okay? We can throw in a body hook or a head hook. As we're doing this, we just did the cross, right? Now this hand, this left hand that's back is getting ready. It's gonna open up just a little bit and it's gonna come forward and cross and cross. And remember, it's not doing it independently of my body. It's not going independently. The arm just comes out a little bit. And now from here, it's basically all body. It's not just my little uh, uh, rotator cuff. All right, so we're going to come in, jab, cross, hook, and then retreat. And then we're going to come in again to do it. So we're only going to be doing half as many, so we'll have to do twice as many on the count. Questions on the hook. Make sure that this arm is going to come a little bit out, and then it's going to be all body. So this is a very close-in technique that we're going to use. We're not reaching out there. All right. So left foot forward, right foot back. You're going to have jab, cross, hook. All right. Ready? One. Retreat. Two. Retreat. Three. Retreat, four. Retreat, five. Retreat, six. Retreat, seven. Retreat, eight. Retreat, nine. Retreat, ten. And switch, right foot forward, left foot back. We're gonna go step in. We're, as we do that, we're jabbing as we come in. Cross, hook. And then retreat. All right. Ready. And one. Retreat. Two. Retreat. Three. Retreat. Four. 
Retreat, five. Retreat, six. Retreat, seven. Retreat, eight. Retreat, nine. Retreat, 10. Retreat, and switch. Questions? All right, let's do another set then. Jab, cross, hook. Ready, and one. Retreat, two. Retreat, three. Retreat, four. Retreat, five. Retreat, six. Retreat, seven. Retreat, eight. Retreat, nine. Retreat, 10. Retreat, switch sides. Right foot forward, right jab, right left cross, right hook. Ready, and one. Retreat, two. Retreat, two. Retreat, uh, four. Retreat, five. Retreat, six. Retreat, seven. Eight. Retreat, nine. Retreat, 10. Retreat, good. Jab cross uppercut is our next one. So, we're gonna close again. We're throwing the jab out as, so to help our close. Cross. This cross may be a little bit tighter, and now we're gonna come up for an uppercut, okay? We can think about uppercutting the body, coming straight up to the face, but either way, we're going to come under and use this leg to drive. So it's not a lot of just arms swinging independently, it's my arm being driven by my body, okay? Questions so far? All right, we're gonna do jab, cross, uppercut. Ready, left foot forward, right foot back, left hand jab, right hand cross, left hand uppercut. Ready, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Right foot forward. So we're going to do right jab, left cross, right uppercut. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, shake it out. Question, one more thought on this uppercut. Remember this other hand. So we're throwing out the jab, cross. As we're bringing this hand back and doing and preparing, sinking into this uppercut, make sure we keep this other hand high, protecting us as we come up, okay? All right, one more set. Left foot forward, right foot back, jab, cross, uppercut. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10. Good, switch. Right foot forward, left foot back, right jab, left cross, right uppercut. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right. Um, if you want to switch up one more level on your weights, we're going to do another set of squat, another set of calf raises. All right, so find your medium or heavy weight. Easy squat. Feet about hip or shoulder width apart. Feet parallel. And think about sitting down. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Calf raises. Feet maybe a little bit closer. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Um, I'm going to clear out just a little bit more space. Let's go back to our light or medium weight. We've been doing a couple of fixed sets on shadow boxing. So what we're going to do now for the last three or four minutes is we're going to dial up the democracy, all right? Um, I'm going to call out how to start us. I'm going to tell you to start adding things to it. So we're going to be moving around as you wish, little steps forward, maybe steps back. Start with jab crosses. And I'm going to add stuff over the course of the next couple of minutes to uh, bring up the shadow boxing low. All right. Do the best you can. Push things into it. Try to be technical, but don't knock yourself. Just try to keep hands up and have a good workout. So starting with jab crosses. Ready on your own. Begin. Throwing hooks and uppercuts. Keep moving. Throwing some elbows. Throwing some knees. Arms are getting tired. Try to keep those hands up. Good. Throw some front kicks and roundhouse kicks and side kicks. Keep going, keep going. Come on, hands up. Come on, 30 more seconds. Keep going. Good, good. I see you moving. Everybody's muted themselves, so they can't hear. I can't hear them, but I can see them. All right. And stop. Remember, we're trying to use our legs. We're trying to, you know, use all parts of our legs from the toes because they're providing a lot of stability with the calves, with the quads, hips, back muscles. So these arm workouts that we're doing with lots of punching shouldn't just be upper body. We should be using everything else in our arsenal to put power and speed on, okay? 
as you're working on these techniques, that was something I forgot to mention, it was on my list. Um, we're not just thinking about power, because power doesn't do us very much if it's really slow, but it also doesn't do us very much good if we're poorly targeted. So as we're doing these sorts of drills, kind of go back and forth for yourself among different parts of the triangle. Speed, power, accuracy, and think about them as you go through. It's gonna be impossible to think about all at once, so watch yourself, see what you're doing, try to work on one part of it, then come back, okay? All right, so find yourself that little bit of space, necks rotating around. I know we already did this once, but we just did like 5,000 punches with, you know, 10, 15, 25 pound weights, right? <laughs> thanks, thanks, I get a chuckle. Yeah, I was using five pounders there. Three pounders and five pounders. I was using 25 pounds the whole time. Oh, okay. entire time. Because you're I'm using a dry erase marker on my bad arm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever you can use. All right, next back and forth, tick-tocking left and right. Good, looking left and right. So you're putting a twist on there, turn. Good. And let's go to shoulders, forwards. Remember, bow, open. Bow, forward, open, back. Squeeze, switch directions. Try to paint big circles with those points of your shoulders. You can take Mindy's dry erase markers, tape them to them, and I want you to draw big O's with those shoulders. Good. Easy chain breakers. Yes, I kind of goof there. Let's uh, switch up to some circles. Let's try to get big range of motion. I'm going to start going backwards. It doesn't really matter which one you do first. Good. Bring, relax those arms a little bit, working down to the elbows. And arms out straight, little circles. And switch direction, forward circles. And bringing those elbows again. This is kind of a gentle thing. We're not doing much on the elbows for this. Don't expect to feel like, oh, I've got the strongest elbows ever now. No. Super <laughs> ligaments, it's elbow intensive. Okay, but it's not a strength thing. I think we're just kind of relaxing stuff out. Oh, good, and catch that right arm, pull it across your chest. Uh, I know people who like to put in a back stretch, they're gonna step behind on this foot and add in a back stretch. Um, I know some people like to have the arm up. For me, that's not as good a stretch, so you can experiment and switch. Pull the left arm across your chest. <clears throat> and right arm goes up back behind your head. Don't put too much pressure on your neck. Don't push too much hard with your head on your arm. Try to reach those fingertips down your back. Want, lean a little bit away, add in a little bit of stretch, opening up the side. Switch, left arm behind your head. Good, and untangle, shake that out. All right, feet up, shoulder so apart, I'm gonna, or a wide shoulder, right? Back twist. We did a back intensive workout, even if you're not thinking about it especially if you are using weights, then your back muscles are supporting that weight drive every time you're punching. So make sure today you baby your back a little bit, take care of it, hips. And by baby it, maybe that means you spend 20 minutes on a hot pad and with a nice cold alcoholic adult beverage in your hand, maybe it just means you put in an extra 10 minutes of stretching on it later today when it's uh, when you've had enough time to rest. And drop down to the knees.
switching directions as you go, working way slowly, deeper and deeper, remembering to breathe. If this is hard, put the feet closer together. The knees can support each other better. If you want more of a challenge or need more of a challenge, then separate out, okay? All right, we already did the ankles and toes, so we're not gonna do them much. Um, let's instead, uh, feet uh, just about barely hip width apart, maybe even a little bit narrower. Reaching our hands up towards the ceiling. If you got a low ceiling like mine, you're gonna hit it. Easy side stretches. Forwards and back. And swan dive down, forward fold. Hands slide up your shins, flatten out your back. And forward fold. Bend those knees, ragdoll back up. Hands come high and swan dive back down again, forward fold. As you're doing this stretch, hands slide up the shins, straighten out the back. For me, we didn't do a lot of hamstring work today, but lower back is definitely getting it and forward fold again. So take it easy on this stretch. Feel where you're tight. Think about what you're gonna to need to do extra. And from here, cross the left leg over the right. The stretch is gonna to shift to the outside of the right leg, outside of the right hip. If you are left over, uh, if you're right over left, don't worry, we'll get there. You can just do the opposite later. Like now, switch, right over left. Hanging down, feel the stretch shift to the outside of your left leg. Good, and from here, um, let's go ahead and just kind of sit yourself down. And we're gonna stick out the right leg, left leg is tucked in. Reach down to that right leg. I like to put my left hand on my left knee, help push that hip open and give me something to push off of to uh, lean forward into the stretch. If you want to turn and do both hands, it'll also give you a different stretch on your hamstring and hip than with your left hand back. If you can't reach your toes, then just kind of grab behind your your, your your ankle or your shin and try to pull yourself down. Good, sit up, take that right foot. We're gonna tuck it behind it, holding it, pulling that foot towards our butt, our uh, rear. Again, try to keep a single plane between the toes heel, ankle, knee, and butt, so that you're not pulling the knee sideways. If you can, relax the, the stretch uh, just a little bit so you can open up that hip a little bit more. So instead of pulling the foot straight toward the glutes, I'm actually gonna pull it back behind me a little bit and then try to squeeze it in towards the glutes now that my hip and abs are more open. Good, and just kind of put that foot down on the ground behind you. Now gonna sit forward, trying to drop our chest down to our left foot. Again, I like to put my left hand on my knee, helps push me down, but keep that hip low. Good, now from here, shoot that right leg further back. Roll up and we're gonna go to a, 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 a pigeon, half pigeon, something. Um, I'm trying to turn my hips towards the ground, trying to get my left foot 
uh, my left shin uh, parallel to my chest and perpendicular to the way I'm facing. And I'm trying to kind of drop my left hip back, bring my left hip forward, bring my chest forward. Good. Now take that, I'm going to pop up on my right toes, take my left foot, slide it out of the way and under, and now drop my right hip down to the ground. Good. All right, let's sit back on our left glutes. Left leg is still tucked in front of us. Right leg, I'm going to swing over and on the other side of my left knee, hugging that into my chest. And right hand goes down to the ground behind you. Left elbow goes outside the right knee back twist. Good. Untangle. We're going to try to repeat all of that on the other side. So left foot goes out, left leg straight, right leg tucked in, reach down to the left leg. Trying to put your chest on your knee, your nose on your shin. Don't try to just reach down and curve the back so you get your nose down. You want to put tension on the pelvis so that we can get a stretch all along this leg. Three. And come up, take that left foot, tuck it behind you. We're going to stretch out the quadriceps again. Pull that foot in towards your glutes, not to the side, and so it's coming along your hip. Try to relax that stretch just a little bit so you can pull the foot backwards, open up the hip a little bit more, and then squeeze that heel back towards your glutes again. Now that your hip and abs are a little bit more open. Good, relax, put down that right foot. You're gonna sit forward, so you're trying to put your chest down onto your right foot. Breathe, inhale to your nose, exhale to your mouth. Feel the stretch. Stay here, thinking about your stretch. Good. And now we're going to shoot back that left leg further, roll up, kind of go to our quasi pigeon, trying to push that left hip down to the ground, drop the right hip a little bit back and down to the ground, trying to get the shin more parallel, trying to lean forward, breathe. Good. Take that right foot, let it slide to the outside, and I'm now going to push my left hip into the mat. Stretching out my left hip, my left abdominals. Good. All right, sit back on your right hip. Left leg, you're going to sweep it across and over that right knee. Hug that knee into your chest. Try to let that left hip slide down to the ground. Your chest is going to slide past your knee. Straighten up that back. Hug that knee into your chest. Breathe. Good. Take your left hand, put it right down behind you. Right elbow goes over the left knee. Easy twist. 
Long leave the back. Breathe. Good. Untangle. Windshield wiper those hips a little bit. Good. And um, I tried to focus a little bit extra on the lower back and glutes and hips because when we're doing a lot of this handwork, that's where a lot of the, the, the work is happening. Of course, it's also happening up here, um, but I'm a little out of time. So what I'd suggest is that uh, when we sign off or when I sign off, take a little bit extra time to do some extra shoulder stretches. Uh, maybe do your child's pose or work the arms through that. Um, take a little bit extra time. It's always good to take a little bit more me time and me time, whatever. Art, you know, me, uh, you know what I mean. Take time to take care of ourselves. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for joining me. Um, next week, uh, we will post the schedule very soon. Um, we're going to have, uh, Will is going to be leading one of the workouts on trying to do some proprioception ideas for some of our martial arts skills. So please stay tuned for that. Of course, if you have any requests, please let us know. If you have any comments, uh, please let us know. We look forward to hearing them, except for all you people just trying to sell me, add music to my workouts or sell me, uh, you know, whatever. No, you guys leave me alone. Um, so, hey, have a good workout. Have a good hour. We had a good workout, I hope. Have a good afternoon. Stay happy. Stay healthy. We're going to get through this together. I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you very much.